Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. All right, so this video reading is what is their karma? So we're pulling for two different energies. This is another multi-reading. We're pulling for uh, loved ones, family energy, and a uh, romantic interest energy. And before I get into which pile is which, I'd like to thank all of you who are subbed to my channel thus far. Thank you so very much. And if you're brand new, hit the sub button as well as the bell notification. I drop videos uh, weekly. Also, join me on Patreon for exclusive readings. Uh, tiers are $4 and below. And I do exclusive giveaways just for my patrons. Uh, and yeah, if you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, or consultation session with me, check the pinned comment below as well as the description box below. And check the pinned comment for Patreon information as well. All right, so you have three decks to choose from. This is deck number one, deck number two, deck number three. Again, deck one, deck two, deck three. Please pause the video and see which of these decks you feel you resonate with the most. Keep in mind that this reading will not gener will not resonate with everyone. That's per perfectly fine. Take what resonates for you. Leave behind what doesn't. Remember that this is a YouTube video. It is entertainment. Please take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. And yeah, enjoy the video. Let's jump in with pile number one. All right, so deck number one. Let's find out first for family and friends. This person that you are asking about. What is their karma for hurting you? The universe for the channel messages. Thank you so guys for those who are asking about this particular power. This is karma. Thank you guys to the channel messages. Okay. So bottom of the deck, we have the eight of coins. So automatically I feel the energy of something's not working out for them. This particular person that you're asking about. We got this, ooh, we got the six of coins that came out in the reverse. This person may be going through some financial hardships without you. This could be a someone that you were caring financially or caring for or helping financially. That's what I'm getting with them. We have the lovers that came out in the upright. This person can be a Gemini. We have the star that came out in the reverse. This person can be an Aquarius. So definitely this person is in a bit of a hopeless state. We have the world card that came out in the reverse. We have the devil. This person can be a Capricorn that you're inquiring about. And we have the ten of sticks. So quite frankly, this person is having uh, issues moving on from something. Um, in regards to the connection, this person may be dealing with addiction or attachments to something. This feels like substances. Uh, definitely, I feel like you're asking about a loved one or a friend that you were very close to, very enmeshed with. Something about this person's energy feels really down. I feel like this person was heavily relying on you in regards to financial means, in regards to support. Um... Even in regards to travel, for some of you, this person doesn't have a, a means to get to work anymore with the eight of coins in reverse and the world in reverse. Uh, this person is going through cycles. I feel like this person definitely deals with addiction, however, and this person is struggling to move forward. I feel like the two of you might have had like a really big argument and that might have sprung the falling out. But this person is really going through it emotionally, more so mentally. Well, mental and emotional wrapped into one. And this person is going through a couple of financial strain. I feel like this person is, something about this energy, this person feels like they might be couch hopping. Maybe they're living with different friends, different family, different connections. But definitely this person is looking to numb the pain or they're finding new attachments to kind of fill the void that they're missing with you. Yeah, that's what I got for you all. Who are asking about family and friends and let's see. For those of you that are inquiring about a love interest, what is this person's karma? Think about Bottom of the deck, we got the nine of knives. 
or the nine of swords that came out in reverse so definitely this person was quite bothered about the direction of the um, of the situation or the dissolve you were on this person's mind a lot i do feel like for some of you who chose this particular deck that this person may be involved with someone else we have the five of sticks so i feel like this person is very unagreeable or this person has a lot of combative or dramatic connections it's like this person's always aggravated and frustrated and it's like this person can't fi find peace with his five of sticks we have the six of baskets this person may be feeling um alien and alienation from friends at the moment definitely an alienation from you we have the ace of sticks so for some of you Though I felt like this, for some of you, I feel like this person may have may have moved on in the sense of trying to date, but I'm not seeing much serious action in this person's life romantically. We have the father of knives. Definitely this person has bitterness that they're holding on to with this father of knives. It's like this person is almost kind of self-restricting. They're very much holding on to whatever the situation is that made them upset, whatever broke the two of you apart. So almost it, it feels like this person's karma is being self-inflicted because they're not letting go because they're not allowing themselves to be open be free and be forgiving this person is really holding on to anger from you in the situation we have the death card that came out in the reverse this person can be a scorpio or an aquarius energy i'm getting to but this person can be a scorpio with this death card this person is refusing to change they're refusing to see whatever that broke the two of you up they're refusing to see it their end or take accountability for the situation we have the temperance card uh or the sagittarius or, or this is sagittarian energy uh, this person can be a sagittarius but we have the temperance card so i'm sensing some stubbornness with this temperance card like this person refuses to change or refuses to see their end of things i feel like this person is holding kind of a victimhood in their mind because this person is avoiding accountability we have the chariot. This person could be a cancer. And then we have the sun that's in reverse. So what I'm getting is this person has moved on, essentially. They've moved on from the emotional connection to you, the romantic part. But they have not moved on from the anger. And a lot of their karma is self-inflicted. And it's almost like they're self-fulfilling their own prophecies by alienating themselves from others or being alienated from others. Because I'm feeling a very bitter energy coming off of this person still. All right, tech number one, let me know how you all felt about that reading in the comment section below. Uh, if you like a private reading with me or you want to join me on Patreon, check out the information in the pinned comment below as well as the description box below. And let's move on to deck number two. All right, deck number two, what's your person's karma for hurting you? And we're going to start out with a family or friend connection first. Ooh. This person has a lot going on. Thank you for the channel messages. What is this person's karma for her being those who chose? Step number two. This person's karma for those who chose. Number two. Number two. One more. All right, we got the hermit card. So this person may be in solitude. I feel like this person is kind of reflecting on the situation uh if the two of you aren't in communication i do feel like this is a family or friend connection where maybe the two of you are estranged a bit so i feel like this person's reflecting kind of seeing their part in the situation but we have the two of wands that came out in the upright definitely this person is thinking about reaching out to you we have the world card that came out in the reverse but they're still going through cycles or this person can be at a distance from you and don't have a way to get towards you we have the Queen of Swords that came out in the upright. This person definitely wants to communicate with you. They want to talk to you. This person definitely misses you. I can feel that energy as well. We have the Hierophant. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to make amends. So in regards to this particular person's karma, their karma is realizing the void that they have with you not being in their life. Realizing the importance that you hold for them in their life. We have the... Ten of Swords that came out in the reverse. Yeah, this person is definitely ready to reconnect. This is the energy of someone who understands 
what it's like to not have you there and they miss you. And they're thinking about coming towards you with this two of wands in the upright. And then we have the full card that's in the reverse. So definitely there's some apprehension there. This person, I feel like this person isn't too prideful anymore, but at some point in time, this person was very stubborn, very prideful, didn't want to be the first person to say, I'm sorry. But with this full card in reverse and the world in reverse, I just kind of feel more of an energy that this person doesn't know how to approach the situation because the situation has been cold for so long. I feel like you and this person haven't talked in months, maybe up to a year for some of you, but this person doesn't want to be estranged anymore. They just don't know how to come back together for this situation. So overall, their karma is missing you and seeing your value to them and missing that connection. And they're surprised. They, they feel like if they don't come towards you, that it all may be gone. And they, they're seeing their part in the situation. All right, so that was for friends and family. That's what I have for you. And now let's check out romantically. So for a romantic partner of any level, what is their karma for hurting you? Universe, thank you for take all of those bottom of the deck we have the emperor this person can be an aries that you are asking about definitely this person this person could be a father or or a guardian of some sort that's what i'm getting with that but definitely in regards to i feel like it's a disciplined energy, but it kind of feels like a bit of a stubborn energy that's coming through that this person is working in. Definitely this person can be some sort of guardian figure for you. And it's almost like it's prideful. It's, it's, it's not, I guess, pride can't be stubborn, but, but it's more of a prideful energy. Because I feel like this person has realized their error in this connection, in the separation between the two of you. But there's a lot of pride there that they're working with. So let's see what came out. We have the Fool card that came out in the upright. We have the Queen of Wands that came out in the upright. We have the Two of Swords that came out in the upright. And we have the Four of Cups that came out in the upright. So definitely, this person definitely desires a new beginning with you. They want to come towards you. They want to talk to you. They're making that decision if they should or not, but there's pride blocking their heart. So this person, yeah, definitely feeling a lot of pride in regards to, I feel like this person is, for those of you that are asking about this connection, maybe there's an age gap, maybe you're older or they're older. This definitely feels like a more mature energy. And definitely, I said like a father figure. So even though this is a romantic reading for some of you, this feels like, yeah, an authoritative like figure or maybe someone where this person reminds you of your father, this romantic interest, or they remind you of a uh, parental figure, but there's a lot of pride with this person. So this is another self-inflicted energy almost. I feel like this person's pride is keeping them from you and that's what's playing into their karma. We have the temperance. So yeah, definitely dealing with some stubborn energy with the temperance. In the upright, we have the empress in the upright. You can have a child with this person. For some of you, even though this is the romantic portion, you can be a child of this person. Uh, this person can be an earth sign. It's like this person is almost working out a manipulative energy. That's what I'm getting with this too. It's like they're trying to hold out because they want you to see they're in, they want to be right. But at the same time, in trying to be right, they're suffering. They're missing out on what they want, and that's you. We have the Wheel of Fortune that came out in the reverse. Unfortunately, this person is not going to be the first one to make a move, or at least no time soon. This person is working very stubbornly. We have the Sun card. Yeah, this person feels like if they hold out longer, that you will come back to them. This person is, is trying to avoid having to say, they're sorry or they're trying to avoid having to admit that they were wrong and i'm also getting that this person in particular this uh romantic interest this situation and separation was more so on their end 
than yours and maybe your your stepping away or them stepping away was a reaction your reaction to everything but this person is trying to avoid so a lot of this feels like a a, a self-inflicted stubbornness like they're missing out on you and then for some of you you will be the first one to initiate contact but they're suffering in the meantime this is somebody who also tortures themselves by watching you constantly from afar we have yep the lover's card that came out in reverse and then we have the queen of cups so yeah this person it's like this person's put on a false mask they're not trying to show you how much they care they're not trying to be vulnerable. This person has a problem with vulnerability. That's what this is. But at the same time, they're watching you. They're hoping, they're praying, they're sending out petitions. Even if they don't believe in um, esoteric or occult or things of that nature, they're still pulling, pulling out, putting out petitions and wants and hopes without actually coming towards you, without realizing that what could solve this issue is this, them coming towards you, them putting their pride aside and admitting their part admitting that they were wrong so their karma is a self-inflicted torture they're denying themselves of you and for some of you this person is going to lose you in that or it's going to be too late all right deck number two that's what i have for you let me know how you felt about that in the comment section below as well as uh if you'd like to book a private reading coaching consultation with me or if you'd like to join me on patreon and i do exclusive giveaways on my patreon check the pin comment below as well as the description box below and let's move on to our very last deck, deck number three. All right, deck number three, what's this person's karma for hurting you? We're gonna start out with family and friends and then we're gonna get into romantic interests. So universe, thank you for the channel messages for those who are asking about a family member or friendship. What is this person's karma for hurting those who chose deck number three? The spirit guides of those who chose deck number three. What's this person's karma for those who chose number three? What is this person's karma for those who chose number three? This person may have a lot to say. Give me two more cards. What's this person's karma for those who chose number three? What is this person's karma for those who chose number three? There we go. Bottom of the deck, we have the hair front in reverse. This person can be a tourist that you're asking about. I feel like those of you who chose this particular pile, this feels like though this isn't romantic, this feels like this could involve a divorce of some sort. Let's see. We have the five of wands that came out of the upright. I feel like this five of wands has popped out a lot. This person's very conflicted, but this is inner confliction. Um or inner conflictedness this person is is definitely dealing with i feel like this person is talking harshly to themselves in regards to the the, the area of this situation i feel like this person may push people away a lot this particular friend or family member but this person is dealing with a lot of inner conflict we have the king of wands i feel like this person is trying to pretend on the outside that they aren't as affected as they are but definitely they think about this a lot we have the five of pentacles so this may be someone that you're asking about that you recently come back in contact with maybe this person has reached out to you but they're not really being as forthcoming as you'd like maybe this person has touched very lightly on the situation i feel like this person is showing more with their actions that they want change between the two of you but hasn't said outright with their words or hasn't apologized with their words now, this world card has come out a lot too but the world card in reverse but the thing about this is this person hasn't changed i feel like if you've come back into contact with this person this family member or a uh, friend it's gonna fall apart again this person hasn't changed though it's like this person wants things to be different but they're not willing to do work to change things we have the six of swords that came out in the upright we have the nine of cups that came out in reverse and then we have the three of pentacles so quite frankly this person relies on you a lot emotionally i feel like this person is well to do but they rely on you a lot emotionally they'll rely on you a lot for counsel and you know words of wisdom and things of that nature however though it's like this person doesn't stand on their own two feet in in that regard it's very emotionally clingy 
and very selfish too but this person is also very unhappy overall with their own life like i feel like a lot of what this person projects onto you has to do with what's going on with their inner self that inner conflict and so ultimately this person's karma what i'm getting is this person karma actually in a way it has to do with you but overall it doesn't because this inner conflict has been here for some time and I feel like the cycle of projecting their emotions outward to others instead of dealing with it, they've just built up this karma overall with many different connections within their life. And this person, this person even knows that. They're very, yeah, they're, they're in the know of, of why. And I feel like this person's stuck in a cycle of pushing people away or going away themselves because they, it's like this person is scared to be open or this person doesn't know how to be open or this person only knows the dynamic from which they are used to. Maybe this is something, you know, from childhood through. But definitely in regards to this person's karma, they're already interconflicted. They're already dissatisfied and unhappy. However, though, I feel that though this person's gonna, this person wants to change, it's, it's very hard. And I feel like this is a, something that's gonna happen again in regards to a cycle but overall, I feel like this person will will make a change at some point, but it's, it's going to take hard work on this person's behalf. And that's when it's going to take this person realize that no, this person realizes that it's going to take hard work, but it's not it's definitely not going to be easy for this person. But their karma is they're already going through a lot of inner conflict. And for some of them, they cause the separation on purpose because it's easier for them, though they feel alone. And conflicted despite what things may look like on the outside this may be somebody a family member um, or friend who's very popular or very loved but on the inside they don't feel the same way things aren't what they seem with this connection or with this person that's what I'm getting all right so let's find out romantically what is the karma thank you universe for the channel messages what is the karma for those who are asking about deck number three for their person who heard them. All right. Wow. This keeps popping up. Yeah, this is conflict with others. This five of wands that came out in the bottom of the deck. Ooh. So automatically for your romantic interest, for those of you who chose deck number three, yeah, they're heartbroken. They feel this. This is somebody who, see, they're not true to themselves. This person is always trying to scheme with this five of swords. This person is always trying to come up with some type of, you know, faulty plan when really all you want is what you want is way more simple you want honesty from this person this person's always trying to scheme their way through things past things and a lot of this has to do with this person and themselves we, ooh, king of wands came out again this person definitely may be dating around but they're not finding a solid connection they're not finding a connection that, that they feel as connected to and comfortable with as they have with you we have the star card that came out in reverse interesting so this person is feeling a little bit hopeless i feel like this person is just going through the motions they're trying to get rid of this heartbreak this pain over here they're trying to scheme their way through it but it's not working because they keep thinking about you we have the five of pentacles that came out in the reverse again we have the eight of pentacles So part of this person, they are working on themselves because they know that that they're a part of their own problems. But once again, it's, it's at the ex expense of trying to hurt others. This person may also be spying on you with this five of pentacles in regards to, and spying on you in regards to watching you over social media. We have the king of swords. This is definitely someone you're not talking to right now. Someone who's trying to show you in their energy that they don't need you, but they do. 
And then we have the Six of Cups. This is definitely somebody who desires friendship with you, desire connection with you. But this person doesn't know how to be true to themselves. I feel like all this person knows is scheming energy. This person doesn't know how to walk in honesty. I feel like a part of that is what broke the two of you up. Definitely this person is dealing with others. And there's an unhappiness with this person. But this person misses you greatly. And they're watching you from the outside looking in. They're watching you from afar. And they feel like they're going to lose you with the star card in reverse. This person can be an Aquarius for sure. I'm feeling Pisces energy. Or it can be an Aries. You also have Earth sign. But those are the three signs that are feeling really strong. Aries, Pisces, and Aquarius. But yeah, definitely this person thinks about you a lot. They're very heartbroken over this. And they're trying to scheme their way out of it. The biggest thing that I'm getting in regards to this connection, why it doesn't work out and what their karma is, is because this person wants this situation, but they don't want to do what it takes to change. So this person is going through the motions. It's like, once again, they're, they're seemingly working on themselves, but it's too slow and it's in a scheme and they're not fully honest or open with you and honest. This person may feel like they're not good enough for you. But even then, I feel like you're willing to work with this person. This person overall desires a, a connection, a bond, a loving relationship with you, even if it's just a friendship. But it's like this person, once they get one part of their life together, it feels like they fall down in another area and this person gets discouraged very easily. And this person's karma is, is pretty much, I feel like always being one step behind, but a lot of this is in their control. In fact, all of this is in their control. However, though, this person is always one step behind. All right, pile or deck number three, let me know how you all felt about that in the comment section below. If you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, or consultation with me, or join me on Patreon or do an exclusive giveaway, check out the community section to see what this month's giveaway for my Patreons patrons for what my, for my patrons are uh is in the community section go check out that um and join me there my tears are four dollars and blue and yeah thank you so much for tuning in i love you all thank you for your energy and till next time like this video thrust me into the algorithm uh yeah and that's it peace and blessings you all goodbye